All right, so we are going to put this bike here, which is a standard Google Tourist, into a uh, standard Samsonite travel case. And uh, we'll open this case, and in here we'll find some packing materials that the bike came with. Got three latches. The lid opens. And um, we got a bunch of colored felt bags that go on the bike to protect it in different ways. And there's also some blue vinyl here. And uh, with the bike um, on its kickstand right now, in this case it has a kickstand, we can just start getting it ready to go in the case. And we've got a tool bag here that we're going to get the tools we need out of. The first one I'm going to go for is the pedal wrench. And um, take the pedals off. And these pedals, like all bicycle pedals, are left and right threaded. So on the left one here, I actually have to go it appears clockwise to loosen the pedal. Turn it clockwise and it starts coming out. And the right side pedal will be counterclockwise to loosen like you would expect a normal thread. Pedals have a, a blue felt bag they can go in. It actually says pedals on it. It just keeps them from clanking around inside the case and scratching your uh, paint. There's a rubber band that uh, should be included with your kit to seal that. Now there's also some of this blue vinyl and uh, it'll say left and right crank arm. And these pieces can go over the left and right crank arms to cover them, just keep them from getting scratched up while they're in the case. Just keeps them looking nice over the years. And then there's another piece of blue vinyl here. It goes over your main frame here. Let's keep that paint looking nice. There's a, a, a Velcro black strap that can be used to hold this in place. And it's this piece of vinyl is cut all the way along the top, so you can just wrap it around the tube here. Just use a piece of vinyl. right in front of the bottle cage. And now in the tool kit, you'll also find a pedal wrench back because I'm done with that. You'll find your uh, multi-tool which has all your Allen wrench sizes on it. And this can be used to take the handlebars and the seat post out. So we'll start with the seat post here. That seat post clamp is going to be a This will slide out. And there's a yellow felt bag to cover the seat post. And then there's a blue felt bag, dark blue, royal blue, to cover your seats big enough to get most seats will fit in this bag. Just keeps that stuff looking nice. And then there's another yellow bag that's a little fatter that goes over this part here called the seat mast. We got lots of felt bags to keep things protected. And then there's some triangular blue bags that go over your brake and shift levers.
now we can take the handlebars off of the stem, which we need to do for packing. Um, this bike happens to have a non-splittable handlebar, so we'll have to take the stem faceplate completely off to remove the handlebar. Some handlebars split, so you just have to loosen the faceplate and pull the bars out. But these ones don't do that, so we'll just take this all the way off. This, this has four bolts. Most of these stems have four bolts. I am uh, going around, kind of loosening them a little bit at a time, just the way to do it. And eventually, all the threads will disengage and two of them now. So that's off. That goes down. I like to keep those bolts in there and then just put this right back in place while we're transporting it. I'm not going to tighten them all the way down, just tighten them down a little bit by hand. That way we don't lose our bolts and we don't have to find all this stuff later on. We've got to put it back together right where we expect it. And now with the handlebars off, there's a quick release here at the base of the stem riser. And this will take the, open that up, and then you can just pull the stem riser right off the steer tube. And this has a red bag that it goes into. part we have left to take off is the front wheel. So to do that, we'll open the brake quick release. It disconnects the cable as the brakes open up. There's a, there's a wheel quick release. And pop that open. Have to back it off a little bit on the adjuster nut too because we do have safety uh, lips on the dropouts. You have a quick release, or you have a quick stand, you should lift your quick kickstand now so that you can put the bike down on the front fork and it will more or less hold itself up. Now the uh, quick release is actually taken out of the front wheel because it makes the wheel a little narrower so it will pack easier. And also we're going to use the quick release to hold a spacer in the front fork. This little white um, PVC pipe will say fork on it. Put that inside the quick release. And then put that in the fork and then close the quick release on it to uh, hold it in place. to connect the front brake back up so that it just makes everything more compact. And then there's a front fork gray bag to cover the fork. So now the main bike frame is ready to go in the case. So there's a quick release down here at the base of the seat mast, and this will allow the frame to fold by opening that. The seat mast can fold forward. 
and the rear of the frame can go back and fold under towards the front. The front fork blades can be turned sideways. Be turned sideways so they face the wheel. And now you've got a bike that's ready to go in the case. Get the front wheel out of the way. And with the bike, I've got it set up so that the, the fork is on this side, so facing the case, it's going to be on your left. The derailleur is facing down. And the cranks are on your right side. And you want the left crank arm pointing up towards the inside of the case. And that will fit right in there. Then um, your seat and seat post are probably one of the bigger things, and they can fit in on the left side over here with the seat towards the front of the case. You can experiment with that a little bit. Sometimes there's all kinds of ways you can get that to go in. Um, that might be more of your liking. The stem fits in nicely over here. There's lots of empty space down below the wheel that you can put the, these other parts on. Um, you put the tools back in the tool kit and roll it up and close it with the, with the shoelaces They're attached to it. Then the front wheel can sit on top. There's a crush protector post here that fits from top to bottom and has a flange on each end. So the lower flange goes on the bottom of the case. Towards the middle, then the uh, post fits in there. And the upper flange goes on top. Handlebars can fit in over on this side. Front wheel goes on top of everything. And there's a few other pieces you can put on. Are are these? Uh, these clear pieces for your rear stays, and these will just keep the, uh, the stays from getting scratched. Probably just the ones facing the wheel are the ones you really need. And at this point, you got a bike back to travel. So. Ready to check on the airlines. <laughs>